my name is Bonnie Sheffield, I'm a performer and I make videos about everything to do with this crazy industry. So I thought I'd make a big video about what it's actually like to go to a performer's college and I just thought I'd share my experience and give a bit of advice because I've been getting a few messages on Instagram and on my other videos that I've made. So I definitely think the first thing I could say about going to one of these colleges is the most important thing you can do for yourself, literally to be consistent, to show up to make sure your attendance in college is good. I guarantee you that if you even like miss a week or like anything, when you leave college, like any days that you miss while you're in college, any classes that you don't like, that you try to avoid, anything like that, once you leave college, you will regret it. Once you leave college, I guarantee you will get yourself to an audition and you'll be like, oh, I wish I didn't skip out on those ballet classes for that technique or those singing classes. Like, I really need that now. And like, for example, to go to a private singing lesson, I'm sure you already know, it's like probably 50 quid plus, like probably much more you're doing yourself no favors from literally just like not being there being absent like it sounds like such like obvious thing but i feel like when you're in college it's so tempting you know you're having a bad day it's hard it's like mentally draining physically draining like you just want some time off sometimes it's quite intense the schedule uh, is always quite intense no matter what college it is like all over with performing colleges the schedule is usually quite jam-packed quite intense be quite tempting to like just take a day off but no I guarantee like you will thank me when you graduate so I definitely think one of the most challenging parts of going to a performing arts college is the mental and physical demand it puts on you as a human being obviously the physical demand if you're doing dancing is gonna be high but obviously your body can adjust to that whereas I feel like the mental demand it puts on you as a human is something you have to literally work through and learn uh, so it's really helpful and really good if you can kind of find a coping mechanism to deal with that and like what I mean is like you're going to a college where you're putting yourself into a system where you're going to be using your body, yourself, your voice as your tools to perfect your craft. So you're singing, you're using your voice, you're dancing, you're using your body and when someone critiques your craft it's so difficult not to take it personally because it's your body you know someone's telling you okay I think the x y and z about you as a dancer you're obviously going to be thinking about yourself you as a person and kind of trying to separate the two and realize it's me as a person yes but it's my craft they're not criticizing me as a person they're criticizing my craft singing as well like getting singing critique coming from someone who came from a dance background who then studied musical theatre and was singing a lot I found that quite difficult and I think most people find that quite difficult to take critique on your own voice as part of you it's hard and um, I think like when you're in college trying to deal with the mental demands from that point of view from teachers like giving you like hopefully constructive criticism it can be quite difficult like you really need to figure out mechanisms of how to pick yourself up and carry yourself on and like also to remember that it's just one person's opinion so that kind of brings me on to my next point of not fixating too much on like one person's opinion obviously your teachers opinions and advice and constructive criticism is important but remember it's just one person's opinion I feel like so many people get wrapped up in like being the teacher's favorite what the teacher thinks of them trying to get validation from teachers and like you just lose sight of the fact that there is a big bad world out there outside of your little bubble of a college and if one teacher doesn't see you as the best in the class that's probably like actually the better way to be in college because it means you're going to be constantly fighting in college to get that acceptance or whatever get that validation also just for like the fact that you'll need good grades and you'll need good feedback from teachers to help you get a good degree if you're doing a degree or whatever kind of certificate you're getting. So important as well when you are going to start and perform in performing colleges that you are 100% yourself. Like that you're not looking at other people who've graduated, other people who've gotten jobs that you want, other people in the industry now that you feel are doing well and that you come in trying to be like a clone copy of them. Because like if anything this industry needs unique people. It's just like unnecessary I feel like people try to do that when I guess they start any new adventure they try and come in and be this person that they want to be so that maybe they don't get walked all over again like they did the last time or whatever but I think it's very important to remember just to be 100% yourself 
because that is why people are gonna love you and not to stress too much about kind of like having this big persona or something like just be yourself definitely start off college the way you will start off in this industry like be a good person like the people that you're gonna meet in college and just like the teachers that are gonna come in they are gonna be sticking around they are gonna be in the industry do yourself a favor get along with everyone make sure you're nice to everyone all the time like people speak people talk you always want to be putting your best foot forward you want people to recommend you if ever a job comes up that you're going for you want people to say yes you're such a good laugh he's such a good laugh such a good time to be around a real good team player really good in a team they don't have a big ego like no one wants to work with people that have big egos and that comes and that starts in college like there's so many people when you leave college that will get to know each other like the people that you'll meet on jobs will meet other people that you went to college with it'll all get connected it's quite a small industry so start off the way you mean to continue and just be a genuine nice good person be yourself don't be worrying about what you've seen other people do don't be worrying about how you've seen other people acting if you see other people acting in a bad way stick away from it like I guarantee it will do them no favours so don't be influenced by any of that. Obviously like all college timetables are like completely different but as a general they are all quite full on, jam packed and quite demanding and it usually is quite full on long day. So that's all for this video, if you have enjoyed this please do hit the like button and subscribe as it really supports my channel. Until next time, bye!